Welcome to the Energy Waves, September 2022. My name is Nicholas Haynes from Five Institute. And if you are confused, surprised, or bemused by all the things that are happening in the world, watch this video and explain exactly what's going on, why, and how to surf these energy waves. Now, there are three main themes we've got going on this month, the month of September. The first one is my identity and value. The second one is revisiting, reassessing and healing. And the third theme is power moves. Now, if you're not familiar with my work around the Chinese Zodiac, very short video for you, just over four minutes long, explains all about how it works. Go to this URL, which I will link above or below this video. But let me give you a, a quick headline about it how this all works. So currently we're in a water tiger year. So we have some water energy, tiger mixed together. If you're not familiar with those two concepts, don't worry, it'll make total sense as we go through this video. Now, as well as being a water tiger year, we've also got a block of time that we're currently in, a 12 year block of time that's dominated by metal energy. Started with two metal energy years in 2020, 2021, will end with another two metal energy years. And that will constantly be influencing us within this 12 year block of time, even though we're currently in a water tiger year. Now, as this year progresses, we've also got some other influences coming in. The year, in a way, moves through a cycle, like moving around the clock. So as the year starts, we have a bit more kind of water energy coming in, doubling up on water energy. Then as the year progresses around, other energies come in and influence it, give us certain characteristics, certain things that will be happening until we end back up at the beginning of the beginning of the end of the year. Now, currently, I think we're round about here, which means we've got, as well as the water tiger, and the metal energy block of time, we've got some extra metal energy and some earth energy in the mix. So this is what it looks like. Water, tiger, year, bit of metal energy from the block of time and a bit more metal energy from the phase and some earth energy into the mix. And like I say, not sure about the energies, don't worry. This will make total sense to you. Let's look at the first of the themes, my identity and value. Now, metal energy, which we've got this phase and a block of time is related to the season of autumn and fall. And autumn and fall, basically things uh, disconnect, they end. There's a sense of isolation, which is why we saw in 2020 and 2021, a sense of isolation. But it's also a sense of working out what it is that we value, what it is that we love, what's important to us. So there is a kind of isolation, disconnection, letting go, but also what it is that we value, what it is that's important to us. So that will be coming up at the moment because that's what metal energy is about. It's about you've let go of your identity to a certain extent and you're trying to work out what it is that you value because that's what the last two years were about. And we fundamentally changed. So because this time of year, this, this month, it's resonating with that metal energy, you'll have a bit of an upsurge in uh, who am I? What am I about? What's my value? What, what am I really here to do? And that may rise up to the surface in the month of September and October. And that can be quite tricky for us because metal energy is also about getting things done, finishing things off. It's about perfection. So this month in September and October, you'll have a sense of, I really should know who I am. I really should know my value. I really should know what I'm about. But because that's what the metal energy is telling us, we should have that completed. But it's important to remember, this is not get it done now. It's a journey of exploration that we're working our way through. So even though there is a drive to have it done now, just remember, we're on a we're on a journey and it's quite hard to to know our true value, who we actually are. And I often think of it like we're a bit like a butterfly. We can look down and just see a gray, hairy body. And it is others that get to see our brilliance, our wings as as to, to what we're wonderful about. So if you're struggling to recognize your value, ask people, what's what do you love about me? What do people thank you for? You say nothing. You've Many people listening to this will have taken the vitality test. That's a way to, to work out who you are, what you're about and what matters to you, and et cetera. So that's there as a, a, a gift for you to support you. But ultimately, you're not alone within this situation of not quite knowing who you are or not quite recognizing your value. Many of us are going through that. And so some people have got it sorted, you know, 
but many of us are kind of going through a change in identity, don't really understand what they're about. Hence, we had the kind of great resignation. So that will be going on for you. Just remember, you've got the vitality test and look out for something else. Look out for a course I'm going to be running, Energetic Superpowers and Heroic Actions, it's going to be coming in uh, end of September, October. Look out for details around that. And that will really help you understand what you're here to be uh, here to do. OK, let's move on to the next theme. The next main theme is revisiting, reassessing and healing. So, like I said, we're in this month of September and we've got this metal energy coming up because of the phase and the block of time. And what it will do is it will remind us of the last time we were in a really metal energy block of time. And that was in 2020 and 2021. So you may well have stuff coming up now around that period of time, memories or thoughts or different things, it could get a whole lot of rubbish could come up, stuff that you need to clear out and get rid of. It could just seem a bit muddled at the moment. Uh, but there's a few things you need to think. First of all, it's just another way to clear things up. And this is a great time to revisit those things, to kind of reassess them and ultimately to heal and to remember that you're not your past. You're just being given an experience of it in order to release it, revisit it, reassessing and healing in some way. Now, if you're struggling with this, we have each month I run something called the five day mindset makeover. And during September and October, um, I'm going to be just putting in some extra bits of content, running some extra classes where we're going to be just looking at those last two years have it has it have they left any imprint is there something that's coming up that you want to kind of reassess think about heal let go of in some way so that's there for you if it happens to come up for you and you're struggling we've got you covered let's look at the third theme for september this is a really interesting one this is power moves now at the beginning of the water tiger year beginning of this year I gave you five main things I thought you should do to handle how to handle this year. One of them, number three, was choose who has authority in your life. You should be doing that throughout this whole year. And I gave the example of if you read a certain newspaper, then in a way, and it has opinions, in a way you're giving authority to that newspaper. You read it in the morning, you give authority to that newspaper as to how you feel, as to how you see the world or if you go on social media and you get stirred up with things or you get trapped and brought into things you're kind of giving authority to the newspapers or the social media to decide how uh, decide how you're feeling it could be that you're giving authority to unwanted thoughts which is kind of what the mindset makeover is about so it was all about choosing who has authority in your life is it newspapers is it social media is it your thoughts now we will be having some of that resurging again, coming up again, just to test it. But it, I think it will be in a slightly different form. What it will be, I think, is we will see people trying to take your power and authority by arguing and going over things and discussing things and having fixed opinions. So you may see drama going on in your life. And you might choose to say, actually, you know what, this isn't for me. And you've got the benefit. You've got the benefit of that metal energy, which is about detachment, to say, actually, I'm going to let go of this. This is not what matters to me. It's not what's important to me. I'm going to detach and step from it. But there will be situations where people will try and take your power and your authority. We will also see maybe a, 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 an upsurge again of this typical metal energy, black and white thinking. Metal energy is desire for simplicity. So... Are we going to see people wanting to have really simple thoughts? This is good and this is bad. So that might come up again and it might trigger you to try and take your power and authority. And the third thing that we might be having as a phase, and this is a massive thing that is going on at the moment. And this is to do with some very slow moving cycles. So we talk about the energy of this year or the energy of this month, but there is also the energy of large areas of society cycles of time and humanity where you have geopolitics and consumerism and spirituality to name but three 
And these cycles of humanity don't operate over a year or 10 year decade. They operate over hundreds and hundreds of years. And each one of these cycles is independently moving over hundreds of years and changing. And what we happen to have at this moment in time, and I have looked back through history and I cannot see a time where we've had all three areas, all of them trying to change energies at the same time. So our geopolitics is going from a fire energy of populism and, and love me politics and et cetera, to an earth energy, which is more about community and understanding and coming together. So we're moving away from populism to collectivism. And that's a shift. And that's a struggle because some people want us to stay in populism and some people struggle with this. We also see consumerism from this earth energy of have everything you want all the time to metal energy, which is more about less is more about having things that are more beautiful, more elegant, more precious, and they're opposed to just loads of stuff. But that's shifting. And many uh, people don't want that to shift. And then we are seeing this spirituality. And with this, we're seeing a shift from metal to water. And it is fundamentally a, a, a shift, a complete rewiring. It's an evolutionary jump. And all of these three things are happening at the same time. And people are struggling with these, but yet we would cho we chose to be born into this time to help decide and form how we want the world to be. But all of those things will be trying to vie for your attention, take authority from you, because people are trying to control and say how they will be. But remember, you have a gift at the moment uh, because we are in a water tiger year. And water out of the five elements, the five energies, is the most powerful energy, the most powerful energy. Water is unstoppable as a force. It can go through things, around things, over things. It works away at things. It is the most powerful, unstoppable, authoritative energy. And you have that water in this year to tap into. You also have the tiger, which out of the 12 animals is the most sovereign the most regal, the most authoritative, the most powerful. And that's combined with the most powerful energy. And this occurs once every 60 years. And this is within your gift to have that sovereign divine power to, to say and decide, this is how I want the world to be and to, to make sure that other people are not taking your power and authority. Step into your water tiger power and authority it's a gift once every 60 years we have this chance so those are the three main themes that we're going to see this month uh our identity and our value really questioning about that remember it doesn't have to all be done now even though it might you might think it revisiting reassessing and ultimately healing this is a great time to do that and then we've got this power moves going on where the, people are trying to decide how things are and people trying to take your power and authority, but you step into that sovereign power that you own. So let me give you three action points that I think you should do during this month to help you surf these waves in a magnificent way. So the first of your three action steps is to detach, dream and see. Now, as we've discussed, metal energy is about autumn, it's about fall, it's, which is ultimately a time to disconnect. Um, when you disconnect, what you do is you get a bigger perspective. You see things in a, in, in a much, much bigger way. So this is a, a month in October as well, where you need to spend a bit of time just stepping out of the drama to detach in order to dream as to how you want the world to be or how you want your world to be, to see what's going on from the big picture, to see the magnificence. Because if we're not detached, we're too much, we're too close to things and we can't see the big picture. And all we end up seeing is a kind of muddly mess, whereas that isn't what we're looking to do. So just detach, settle down, dream and see that something's bigger. So your detachment could be going on holiday or just taking some time out or just reflecting each day or just when the drama is going around you just step out from it and just observe it and think god look at this just with curious eyes and remember 
curiosity is a really important thing here because what we have at the moment is we have many, many new things that are forming, new things that are coming into creation. We're in a world where it is evolving into something new and we're in this transitory phase. But there can be a little bit of a trap that can happen. And that's this metal energy again. The metal energy is about perfection, about things being right. And this isn't about things being right, even though we have that energy. This is about formation. So as you see something growing up and starting to form, just be curious about it. But do not expect anything that's forming at the moment to be perfect. It's not in a perfection state. It's just forming. So just be aware that there might be lots of people say, well, this isn't right. This isn't perfect. It's, it's not meant to be. It's meant to just be forming. So just be curious. OK, what's your second action step? Well, in a way, this is linked with the first one. It's to kind of slow down, ground yourself uh, uh, and breathe. When we have energy waves that are very flat and easy, you you don't need to meditate. You don't need to do this stuff. You can just you can stand on one leg and nothing's going to go out of balance. And other times where you have quite a lot of change going on, you need to slow down, ground yourself and breathe. You need to do a little bit more work to, 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 to kind of weather the storm. But if you do that, you will have an advantage, the ability to dream and see beyond it, to be the point of stability, to be a role model within that. So you might have to do a bit more of your work, your ability to ground, slow yourself down, breathe, through it lots of lots of help out there to do that you need some just ask us because ultimately um it will be all right but it is about us choosing it might seem like everything is turmoil and storm but it is a place that we're currently in as we form and things get to you and us decide how we want the world to be which is why we're being given this sovereign power, this authority, and do not let some other people take your power away, your authority, but be calm, be still, do not expect perfection to avoid black and white. It will be fine, but we just need to perhaps slow down, ground ourselves and breathe our way through it. It's like, I've never given birth, but perhaps it's like giving birth. Okay, <laughs> the third of your action steps is, you know what, don't go it alone. There is a power in the collective you trying to do this stuff by yourself is is tough so don't go it alone kind of lean into your friends your community and there are many many communities that i know if you listen to this that you belong to so be part of that community lean into it just watch out for the people that want to have drama in that community and the stuff and try to take your power and authority so find communities that support you and soothe you and settle you and ground you but ultimately this is not a game to go alone this is a power of the collective as we form and and build things together and the bigger the collective we can do, the bigger. Accepting that we're very different and we can have this danger of black and white thinking. But do, don't don't try and go, don't try and go alone. We're being born into this phase where we are seeing these enormous cycles of time. Humanity is shifting and changing energy. So it is a big thing that's going on. And it's ultimately for us, born into this time to say you know what and be excited and say you know this is how i want the world to be and and to share it and to speak and to to see it for its brilliance that it is just don't get wrapped up in the the other stuff that's around it just shine glow be brilliant like i say we've got things to help you and i'll link them you've got the vitality test to help you understand who you are you've got five day mindset makeover you've your thoughts and your feelings or any of this stuff is coming up particularly september october got some stuff a little bit of extra stuff to kind of help about that kind of lockdown many of you listen to this you listen to this you're part of this vital life thank you if you're not then consider joining when we're open we also have some work that we do around the uh, no more boxes movement where we can get trapped in this identity these boxes of who we think we are and the boxes start to decide who we are and what we do and this is the time to be liberated to be free to be different so we've got that wonderful book and then we've got the no more boxes movement where we put on different events and conversations and just engage with that that's there for you to help and then the big one look out for this one it's coming coming to coming to a, a computer near you 
uh, where we're going to be looking at these energetic superpowers and heroic actions where we step into our ultimate power. So anyway, enjoy the energy waves, September 2022. My name is Nicholas Haynes. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have found this helpful, do feel free to share this video with anyone you think will need it. It's absolutely fine. If you're watching on YouTube, like, subscribe, share it, help other people. I love you. Take good care. Bye for now.